It might be a little bit hot still. Let me see. Yeah, it might be a little bit hot, but just blowing it. to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Audrey and I'm a full-time caregiver for my daughter, Autumn, who has Down syndrome and autism. So if you're into that sort of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe Fall button. weather is finally here and we made an apple pie together today. So stay tuned for that. I started out by peeling and cutting a fair amount of apples before I had Autumn help me. So we gotta wash hands first, right? Wash hands. Yeah, girl. All right, towel. Here. All right, we haven't cooked in a long time together, so let's get it together, girl. We're gonna put it into this bowl once we cut it, okay? Yeah. We're using these new knives. I don't know how they're gonna be, but we'll try. Oh God, oh God. Is Benny bugging you? Just tell him, say stop, please. All right, you ready? Yes? Hey. Okay, good. Okay, take that knife. <laughs> you remember? <laughs> Wait, take your time. Okay. Thanks, Joe. Oh, you're going way. There you go. Push. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> And let's put these in there. Put this in there. There you go. You ready? Careful, because it's still sharp, okay? Gentle, gentle, and you gotta go slow. Okay, now put this in there. Only a couple more, and then we're gonna do something else because we gotta go slow. We don't wanna cut mommy or on them. Okay, good. Put it in. Good job! Okay, now we gotta get the more, more ingredients, okay? Sound good? Good. Okay, mommy's gonna cut this one. And we're gonna get more ingredients. Those knives are not the best. No, no don't put that in there. Go put that in trash. I think these knives are kind of a fill, but. Okay, now we gotta move this around because we got a little bit of lemon juice in there. Mommy's gonna cut a couple more and then we're gonna put the ingredients in. Does that sound good? Okay, watch mommy. You're being such a good girl. You wanna try with this knife? Does Autumn wanna try? Okay. All right, we'll try it with this knife, okay? Ready? We gotta go really slow though, okay? Slow, slow. Yeah. Take your time. Yeah. We don't wanna cut mommy. I don't know, I think those plastic knives are a no-go. Okay, slow, slow, slow. Okay, good job, much better. Okay, hold on, mommy's gonna cut the, a few pieces off and then you can put it in the bowl. Put it in the bowl. <coughs> Are you being silly? Put it in the bowl. Put it in the bowl, okay? Put it in. Good job. That's such a good helper. Yeah! Okay, now we need to get sugar. Cinnamon, nutmeg, all the ingredients, okay? okay. So That's wait. Flour. We need two tablespoons of flour, okay? So we count out. We're gonna go one, put it in. Good job. And then we're gonna go two. Can you say two? <laughs> two, put it in. Good job. Okay, then we're all done with the flour. We already have the apples in there. Okay, let's see what's so next. Do one, wait, wait, wait. You gotta do one tablespoon. Okay, now put it in. Good girl. Okay, what's next? Let's put that away. 
I gotta look on our list of cinnamon, okay? So I'm gonna give it to you. And you're gonna put it in, okay? Good girl. Can you say cinnamon? Okay. Sin. Okay. Na. Min. Okay. Good try. We don't have allspice, so we're not gonna put that. But where'd the lid go? Oh, here it is. Okay, wait. You're doing such a good job, Woody. Okay, what's next? Fourth teaspoon of ginger. Okay, this is ground ginger. Ah. Okay, that one's hard to say, I know. Ah. Only a little tiny bit of that. Look how teeny tiny this is. Okay, put it in. Good call, girl. Yeah, give me thumbs up. Say woo! Ooh. Good job, mom. I'm a good helper. No one. one fourth of this one. Yeah. Okay? Okay. You're so good at following directions. Okay, put it in. All right. So we need to do one fourth of salt. Okay? Can we say s salt? Yeah. Good trying. It kind of looks like sugar. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Keep it in. Good girl. Okay, what's next? What's next? It requires a lot of sugar, okay? Mommy help? Or Autumn do? Ready? Okay, let's see. Gotta make sure it's pretty accurate. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's gotta be pretty accurate. That's a lot of sugar in that pie, huh? It's gonna be a lot. Okay, put it in. That's a lot of sugar. Woo! We're gonna have a sugar high, girl. All right, let's see what we gotta do next. Put everything up. Let's mix it all up. So mommy's gonna get a spoon and we're gonna mix it up, okay? You ready? Let's mix it, mix it, mix it. Yeah, girl. Let's mix that all up. That's a lot of pasta. It smells good, huh? Does it smell good? Good. You love pie. I love pie too. It's delicious. How could you go wrong with pie? Who doesn't love pie? How's that looking? That looks real good, Autumn. Yeah, that looks real good. Okay, I get a couple more tosses in there. Oh yeah, that looks good. The only thing we didn't put in here was allspice, because we didn't have any, and some other spice that was at the bottom, but it'll still turn out fine without those two. Okay, so next we need to get the pie crust out of the freezer, okay? Mm. So you wanna get it out of the freezer for me? Can you open mm. the freezer like a big girl? Yeah. Okay, it's right here. Open, right here. Can you open? Okay, grab that. Yeah, that's what we need. That's pie crust. Because mommy's lazy, I don't make it from scratch. <laughs> Next, we're gonna put this in there. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Mommy help? Uh. Okay, mommy help. We're gonna do a little bit at a time, okay? Move it out. Yeah, you can put that one there. We made a little too much, but that's okay. It's better to have too much than not enough, right? We want that thing full. That was so good. You're doing such a good job. Yeah, girl. Get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. We're making a pie. Good? Dude. Okay, now we're gonna we're put doing it the lazy way. I usually make really cool things for this, but I'm not gonna do that this time. We're just gonna put it in the oven and turn on the timer, okay? Sound good? Dude. All right, get ready for some pie. Sound good? Dude. All right, you did awesome, give me a high five. Fill it up. 
I'm proud of you. Yeah. It's not as pretty as it usually is, but I didn't put a lot of effort into it. <laughs> I think it's cool enough though. Let's cut this bad boy. Ooh, it smells Where's delicious. They? Here you go, princess. You made it. You get to eat it first. Are we watching Hocus Pocus? It might be a little bit hot still. Let me see. Yeah, it might be a little bit hot, but just blowing it. You have the whipped cream first. <laughs> I love whipped cream. Just be careful for it that it might be a little hot, okay? Oh, you're gonna eat the whipped cream first, all right. She loves it. <laughs> She's devouring it. Is it good? Can you show me thumbs up? Say good. Yeah, did you do a good job helping mommy? Yes? <laughs> Delicious, huh? The apple was so good. Dude. Very delicious. So I shared on a previous video that I had purchased some plastic knives that are better or more adaptive, I should say, for kids like Autumn with intellectual disabilities and who have a harder time. But I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I think that the plastic knives were a complete fail and I would not recommend them. <laughs> they do not work good. And I don't know if it's because of the brand I got. The brand I got is on Amazon. I'll link it too, just so you guys know which ones are not good to buy. <laughs> but they might have another brand, another adaptive brand that works better, but that one did not work at all. When I first started cooking with Autumn, she had a much more harder time being patient and waiting and taking like turns because you kind of have to take turns and she wanted to throw the stuff in right away and I kind of had to realize that if I set it up ahead of time she'll do better but this time I didn't do that and I wanted to see how she would do if we just set it up and got it ready at the time and then did it instead of having it all sitting out and ready to go and all you have to do is pour it in and she actually did really really good today. I know we have done enough cooking that she understands what we're doing and how to do it and putting it in the bowl and mixing it up and putting it in and then putting it in the oven and then waiting. She really understands the process of it. Autumn is really good with routine. If she learns a routine, she will stick to that routine every single time. It has definitely been challenging for me to teach myself <laughs> how to be more patient because it's hard. It's like Autumn is at an intellectual age of like three or four, maybe seven or eight on some other things, but it's really hard to be patient with that age group. I mean, obviously I can now, no problem because of having Autumn, but when you're not used to having to explain every single step and you're not, ex you know, hand over hand and you're not, it's very, very tedious. Also, the perfectionist in me has a hard time with it because I have to realize it's not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna be perfect and it's fine because I'm a perfectionist big time and it's something I'm really, working hard on becoming better at because I really want it to look perfect, but I have to realize it's not gonna look perfect and it's gonna taste perfectly fine and it's gonna be great. <laughs> Usually I do a really elaborate top like with hearts or stars or something really crazy on the top of the pie, but today I was like, nah, we're just gonna do lazy, put it over with two slits in it, we're good. And I forgot to show in this video doing the egg wash on the crust because if you don't put your egg wash on your crust, it's going to ruin your pie just so you know. <laughs> anyway, I am really proud of Autumn's progress with cooking. I know they do cooking at school, so that's obviously why she's doing so much better at it for me. And she really likes doing it. So she loved the pie, by the way. The boys loved the pie, my husband loved the pie, I loved the pie, it was delicious. Turned out great, I'm gonna make another one soon. So I love fall weather, I'm so happy it's cold. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, also subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. Lots more videos to come, so stay tuned. And let me know in the comments, have you guys done any fall things? Like, did you get a pumpkin spice latte? Have you had pumpkin pie? Have you made apple pie? Anything like that, let me know in the comments.